Welcome everyone. We are here to celebrate the marriage of Matthew and Sarah and to be witnesses and supporters of the commitment they share and make to one another. We are gathered together here to join Sarah and Matthew in the union of marriage. This contract is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. The bride and groom have each prepared vows. These vows are your way of openly declaring your promise to one another and to all of those in attendance today. Matt Smith. First off, I love you. Just wanna say that now. I knew after the very first interaction with you almost three years ago that you were something different, special, and unique, and also very cute in a scrub cap. I never could have imagined the happiness and adventure or the number of bees that you have brought in my life since then. <laughs> Over the past few weeks, as we grew closer to today, people have asked me, why Matt Smith, and when did you know you wanted to marry him? And to be honest, it wasn't one particular aha moment that I had, but all the little everyday things in between. And that's why I picked you, Matt Smith. In all of those little everyday interactions, you show me your love for me. You show me how supportive, loving, strong, and how wonderful of a person and partner you are. You show me what true and real love is every single day. You truly are my best friend. So today, and every day for the rest of my life, I vow to forever and always be on your team first. I promise to love and support you in all things. I promise to always be by your side through all the ups and downs that we will go through in life. I vow to be someone who will remind you how much they love you when life gets hard. I promise I will try to be better at cooking and not microwave any more pots. I vow that I will try to not panic about the little, about the little things. I vow to always strive to do my best for you and be the person that you need me to be. I vow to be faithful to you, care for you, honor you, and cherish our marriage in sickness and in health, good times and bad, forever and always. And lastly, I vow to always be your best friend. I love you. Sarah, the first time I knew I was in love with you was when we went to Yellow Springs on our day hike. We had just been dating not too long, actually, and, and it was somehow below freezing, but also raining at the same time. And the dogs were covered in mud, and we kept trudging through the woods. And I just wanted to find this abandoned, covered um, uh, bridge, a, a covered bridge that was abandoned in the woods. And we hiked, and we hiked, and we hiked, and you stepped out of it in front of me, and you walked into the clearing, and you turned around, and you yelled, and you smiled, and you gave me your big Sarah open mouth, like, <laughs> smile, which only you do. And, and I knew that I was in love with you. Sarah, I love you so much, and I cannot, spend, I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Do you, Matthew, take Sarah, to be your lawfully wedded wife? Yes. Do you, Sarah, take Matthew to be your lawfully wedded husband? Yes. I give you this ring to wear with joy. I give you this ring to wear with joy. As a token of my love and devotion to you. As a token of my love and devotion to you. Let it be a reminder that I am always by your side. Let it be a reminder that I am always by your side. And that you are surrounded by my enduring love. You are surrounded by my enduring love. I give you this ring to wear with joy. I give you this ring to wear with joy. As a token of my love and devotion to you. As a token of my love and devotion to you. Let it be a reminder that I am always by your side. Let it be a reminder that I am always by your side. And that you are surrounded by my enduring love. And that you are surrounded by my enduring love. As Matthew and Sarah have consented together in holy matrimony, and have pledged their love and loyalty to one another, and declared the same by the joining and giving of rings, by the power vested in me, and as witnessed by all of their friends and family, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Since we met Sarah, we have all been like, this is the one. This is the person that Matt glows for. 
And it's true, since when I was little, me and Matt were twins, we grew up together, we were partners in crime, we, you know, you have that energetic, youthful, fun, playful energy. And as you get older, you get more serious, you become more self-aware. Um, and I have not seen that side of Matt again until he started dating Sarah. And I see this excited, youthful boy again that is just happy. Um, I have never seen somebody look at my brother the way that you look at him. It is the most heartwarming feeling to see somebody look at him and know how much that they love him. Um, you two push each other to be better people. I see you picking up on each other's interests. You guys are, you found somebody intelligent, funny, beautiful. Um, I think you guys complement each other so perfectly. I'm so excited for you to become a sister and part of the family and I just, I couldn't be happier. Remember when you become annoyed with each other, oftentimes the things that annoy you are the things that initially attract you to the person. When he's being a little messy and quirky, remember that. Um, and then I, I pray that you always love each other even when you're mad and I wish you all the happiness. We're all familiar with the eye test, right? Where something just looks like it works. And the more that I'm around these two, you can see that they just pass the eye test. I have seen Matt decide to decorate the outside of the home because Sarah had a rough day at work. I have seen Sarah uh, redo the kitchen because Matt decided he wanted to feed his bees. Uh, and in all these things, they just work. They just love each other and they are forever on each other's team 100%. And they're an example for all of us as to how we should treat somebody that we care about. And Sarah and I have been friends for a very long time. We've been through thick and thin together and I love her tremendously and I cannot think of a better person to be with her forever than Matt. So, I am terribly sorry you're stuck with me forever. But you did find an incredible woman and I'm very happy for you too. Here, here, and who day. <laughs>